Joe Rogan is on a rampage recently, absolutely tearing apart the woke left for all of their nonsense. Here, this tweet is from the Vigilant Fox. It says, Joe Rogan guest exposes the disturbing truth about gender ideology. This is child sacrifice. Joe Rogan, the willingness to monkey with the truth just to push a narrative. It's so bizarre, and it's so bizarre that it goes all the way down to gender experiments on children. That's how far we've fallen, which you would think would be the people that we would protect the most from bad decisions, the people that we protect the most historically, children, little kids, little kids that are confused and may have insane parents that are trying to talk them into something, which is a real thing. Let's check out this clip here from Joe Rogan, who once again is on absolute fire, not just with the guest that he's bringing on the Joe Rogan experience, but also with the statements that he's been making and making his opinions well known. These opinions that I believe, and you can let me know in the comments if you agree, I think Joe Rogan has been holding these opinions and, and you know, thinking these things that he is now stating on his podcast. I think he's been holding these opinions for a while, but I don't think he's been comfortable enough to actually express them because he was scared of the backlash he would get until now, until the left has driven him so far away because of how insane they've become that he has no choice but to make these beliefs known. Let's check this out, because even if he doesn't state these explicitly, if he's not on the extreme left and pushing their agenda, he's not going to be accepted by them anyway. So he might as well just make his true beliefs known. And that's what he's doing here in this Joe Rogan experience clip. Let's check this out. Uh, willingness to monkey with the truth just to push a narrative. Yeah. It's so bizarre. And it's it's so bizarre that it goes all the way down to gender experiments on children. Yeah. That's how far, which you would think would be the, the people that we would protect the most from bad decisions. Yeah. The people that we protect the most historically, children, little yeah. kids. Little kids that are confused and may have insane parents that are trying to talk them into something, which is a real thing. Yeah, little kids. Who well, they don't see them as these innocent, you know, naive beings that need help. They see them as if we win these kids over, if we brainwash the kids from a young age and, and force them into thinking that these weird ass things are normal, then they'll be Democrats. They'll be leftists. They'll be woke cultists that Joe Rogan is trying to fight against here that they want to create. They'll, they will be those things as they grow up automatically. So they don't have to do any work. It's a lot easier to, to convince a child to be a certain way, have certain ideologies, you know, spread certain propaganda for you than it is to convince an adult to switch their mind. So as long as they get the children while they're young and, and turn them into, you know, have these ideologies and everything, then they won't have to convince them when they're older, when it's a whole lot harder to, to change someone's mind. To have now been sacrificed at the altar of gender ideology. God. That's what's happening. This is child sacrifice in a modern form. That's what's happening. And their bodies are being used to prove an ideological point, Oof. which is this ideological point that gender ide gender identity is innate. We're born with it. You're, you have it from birth. And in order to prove this hocus pocus idea, which has absolutely no basis in evidence or proof whatsoever, they have to experiment on children. They have to give them drugs. They have to start performing surgeries on them when they reach a certain age. They have to cut off their breasts if they're a confused girl, castrate them if they're a confused boy. And what you have here in this grotesque manipulation of children's bodies is literally the sacrifice of children to an idea. If you enjoy content like this, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell. It really does help me out a ton. Let's get back to the video. Ideological crusade and the ideological crusade of gender ideology. And in order for adults who want to, men who want to pretend to be women primarily and women who want to pretend to be men in order to justify their existence, they have to pull children into the equation and say, well, it's an innate experience, you're born with it, and we're going to prove this by giving them puberty blockers, by putting them on a conveyor belt towards surgery, by screwing them up for life, which is what this essentially does. Uh, that is a very good example of how problematic ideological uh, obsessions can be, because what you end up with is a situation where children's lives are fucked up in the well, they're pawns. They're literally just pawns. They don't see them as children. They don't see them as even people. They just see them as pawns in a game that they're trying to play. And that's exactly what, you know, this guy is saying here on the Joe Rogan Experience. That whenever the, idea, when the, the ideological war goes this far, where people like Bill Maher and Whoopi Goldberg in the view that we always talk about, I always say they don't care about making the country or the world a better place. They don't care about having any morals or principles or true beliefs. They just care about their side winning and they'll do whatever it takes. They'll lie, cheat, steal. They'll, you know, do these things to children 
all in the name of their side winning, the woke cult winning. That's all that matters to these people. So as long as they get their victory, which in, in their world is just converting more children into thinking their way or converting more people in general into thinking the same way that they think, they believe that they won. And they're willing to use children and just people in general and brainwash them as pawns in their game. That's what that's what's going on here. Name of an ideological crusade. And that's really bad. Mm, and it's real and it's happening. Yeah. And it's so bizarre to watch people slide into this cult like thinking in mass and you see millions of people that support this. But I think it's enough of a mind fuck to wake up the people that aren't in the haze yeah. of it all and go, hey, this is something you actually have to fight back against. Yeah. But it's it's. It's crazy because most people, I think most people, let me know if I'm wrong, are not really watching clips like this. They're not watching videos like you're watching right now. Most people are just in their everyday life, like going to work, going to school, trying to survive, trying to make money to put food on the table for their kids. And when they're not aware, they're not necessarily on the woke side of things. They're not necessarily on the anti-woke side of things. They're not even consuming this content at all. It's just being through osmosis entered into their brain because they're watching movies, they're watching TV. Maybe they leave their TV on and the view comes on and then you know the, the views, ide ideology start to penetrate their subconscious mind. They're just living their everyday lives and these things are just becoming normalized throughout all media, through music, through TV, through movies, through radio, everything. So they're just going throughout their lives and then eventually over a 20 year span, all this just becomes normal to them. So it's not necessarily that these people are seeing how wild and wacky the other side is that they have to go the other way like people like joe rogan and russell brand and these lefties have and anna kasparian but most people are just living their everyday lives trying to survive and these things just become normalized so they're not seeing how insane it is because they're not looking for it on twitter or, or youtube they're just kind of living their lives and, and through osmosis over 20 years span it becomes normalized to them because this is insane i think um the optimist in me thinks that in the future, in 20 years or so, people will look back at this period and they will say, hold on, you gave kids puberty blocking drugs? You Well, they've already stopped doing that in the UK. Yeah, they've stopped doing that in the UK. We have stopped doing that. I mean, you can still get them privately, but <sighs> the National Health Service has stopped um, prescribing puberty blockers. Did you hear about the guy in Canada? This guy in Canada that's suing the government because oh, yeah. he wants a vagina. Yeah. He, he, so he has a penis. He, he wants, wants a penis and it. a vagina. Yeah, he wants to be uh, whatever. It wants yeah. to be non-binary. Yeah. Like literally. Yeah. Someone so wrote, someone wrote an article for, for Spiked where I work saying, well, this means he can go fuck himself. <laughs> and most of the time, like throughout history, even through like 10 years ago, five, 10 years ago, we would just look at this guy like he's an absolute idiot. Like he's a lunatic. He's crazy. Maybe stick him into a mental hospital because he needs it. But now there's going to be a whole side of, uh, of things, a whole 50% or, you know, 50% of the culture war, one side of the culture war, are going to feel like they must defend this guy until he gets what he wants. Because once again, this isn't about bettering people's lives. This isn't about the well-being of that human, which obviously has a mental illness, but they're not going to treat it as that. They're going to treat it as, oh, another pawn in our game to get another victory. That's all that matters to them. They're willing to ruin the country, ruin the lives of individuals and, and ruin whatever it takes to just win, get W, stack up W's for their culture war. That's all that matters. Right, if he's got both. <laughs> but also, here's the question. Where do you put it? I mean, <laughs> you're running out of space there, fella. Like, if you want both. I mean, this might be a bullshit lawsuit. We might be able to just, like... Stop this with a biologist. <laughs> yeah, where are you right, going to put it? Right, where is it going to go? There's no room, no. buddy. There might might be a BS lawsuit. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it 100% is a BS lawsuit, but yeah. Pretty funny, man. Awesome clip there from the Joe Rogan experience. Once again, Joe Rogan has been out absolutely on fire with a guest that he's been bringing on, the Joe Rogan experience, but also with the opinions that he's been making known. Let me know in the comments what you thought about this clip. Do you agree with Joe Rogan that, you know, all of these children are just kind of pawns in the game and they're using them as pawns to, to further their crusade on, on ideological, you know, ideologies and gender ideology, all this nonsense. Let me know in the comments what you're thinking about the whole video. If you did enjoy the video, please leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys on the next one.